Pulse fam. I am here to talk about how to stake Pulse Chain on Testnet. So this is a great video to go over if you want to practice before mainnet releases, but Testnet is what we have right now. We have version 2B. Um, right here on PulseChain.com, I have information um, that it goes over about how Pulse Testnet is live. Yay! Um, it has been for a couple of weeks. And here is the information to get uh, coins. So the faucet, if you don't have any pulse, you can come in here and get test coins, test pulse. Um, there's other websites as well. This is the staking that we're going to go over. Here's the bridge right here that um, lets you move over Ethereum um, into test. And it's just their test Ethereum, so through the Rink B network and then trading on PulseX. And so I actually already have a video on that. So if you want to learn how to trade as well as to stake in pools on PulseX, go check out my video. I'll link it actually up here. So click the link. And then uh, this right here just goes over basically the T Pulse is worthless. <laughs> it's just a perfect thing to be able to test with and then it goes into a couple of other things right here so go to pulsechain.com read through it very uh eye-opening just of what's going on if you don't know what's going on but i'm going to jump right in on how to stake pulse chain <laughs> all right so i am going to go to metamask on my phone so i can show you i have everything on my phone just because my phone is with me wherever i go and so I can jump on at any point in time and be on it and be able to do whatever I need when I need to do it. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Perfect. All right. So if you are wanting to know how to use Testnet, I have another video uh, that goes over how to set up the uh, testnet network for Pulse Chain. So I will also link that up here below, above um, if you want to go watch that. But right here you can see my account and you can see the different coins that I have. My dad just sent me uh, 8 million uh, T Pulse so I could um, mess around with it. So I'm going to show you um, how to stake Pulse Chain. All right, so I did, I'm gonna come over here on the computer screen super quick. I went in to um, this website right here, staking, and as you can see, I don't have any stakes, no stakes found. So first step, staking for Pulse Chain has two steps. We have to go to validators, which is that top tab, and in here, we're going to see that there are different validators. Um, so a couple of things to note, clearly you want to pick a validator that is in rotation because if it's not in rotation, then you will not be able to stake with it. Um, so what a validator is, is the validator is the like group that you're going through to be able to stake Pulse Chain. So they're all part of the same node, but you get to choose the validator. So like this top one is ZIK Analytics. The next one is some address. There's hoddledog.com and then these other addresses. So how I'm going to look and choose is see right here how it says revenue share. You want that to be as high as possible. Also, you want the misdemeanors and felonies to be as low as possible too. So those, um, those are what determine if this specific validator gets kicked off of the network. And you know, we don't want whatever we're staking in to get kicked off the network. So just make sure that those are either pretty low, um, cause they, they do have a whole like strike system basically. So like it's not three strikes you're out, but kind of the same thing but with the misdemeanors and felonies. So let's click on this top one. Sweet. All right. So we have the option to um, get T-Pulse by staking. And let's just come in here and we can come and put how many pulse we want to do. Should we do like, what, 3 million? Yes. 
Okay, and it says minimum of 0.1% stake required. So we at least need to do like that. Uh, oh, 6 million? No, I'm just trying this out as well. Okay, so 6, let's just do that exact number they gave. 3, 3, 1, 6, 7. There we go. Green means go. All right. So it gives us this, all this information. We chose the ZIK analytics. That's their address. They don't have any misdemeanors or felonies, and they have the revenue share of 100%. And yes, they are in rotation. So we're going to click confirm. Confirm. All right, we'll wait for that to be submitted. Okay, I think it, oh, still pending. Pending, pending. Oh, and actually that is a great point. Let's see, let's come to stakes. Okay, wonderful. So I do want to go back here just super quick and let's click on this. See how it says pending right here? So that, it takes 24 hours to be in like the full ro rotation. So just keep that in mind that it probably will stay pending for the next 24 hours actually. Um, if we come back up to stakes, we can see, sweet, we can see my stake right there that I did, um, which is awesome. And maybe it'll give us more information. Yep, look at that right there. Oops, <laughs> it says pending. So just wait the, uh, the 24 hours and then it will show up where you're going to be able to be earning um, the T pulse, which is this specific reward for this specific validator. Um, something that's kind of cool too is at any point I can either add more or subtract from my pulse. So that's something that's really neat. I don't want to add any more right now, but it's always an option that say I somehow like bought more pulse or sold something and got more pulse that I could go in and stake right there. Awesome. So just to reiterate, there are the two steps. The first step is you have to go in and add a validator and just make sure that the criteria for each of them is what you want, <laughs> that they are going to be well-rounded and well-performing validators. And then whatever one you pick, it takes 24 hours to officially go through and stake. So it will say pending. And then once that 24 hours hits, then it will stake. And even just if, if it's pending, it'll show up in your stakes. So that's how you stake on Pulse Chain. A couple of things before I go. This is uh, not financial advice. This is just uh, options of what you can do with Testnet moving forward. So do your own research practice it out yourself. Um, this is not financial advice. And please like and subscribe. Y'all, we have so much going on in the Pulse community right now. And we have the Pulse mainnet coming live soon. So make sure you subscribe so you are updated on all the content coming. Have a good day. Bye.